There you go. All that digging buried. My God. There you have it. Concrete's here. So I'm going to stop filling that up for now. Gives us a spray. So we don't lose it. I don't know how deep that is. Um, it's all got to come out so it can be inspected. Quick one, you don't have to have a rotary level with the, t with the staff and the receiver. All you need is your, your little laser. Work out your point, and our point is 540 down from DPC. That's our concrete height. So all I do is, yeah, I'm going to from your side so you can see the tape. I stand between the tape. Just get in the corner a bit. And Hold it at 540. That's it. That's what's in Gives it a spray. So we don't lose it. So that line there, that just lets you know where the nails are if the concrete goes over your nail. Because don't forget you've got to have your nails showing. So if your nail disappears you need to find it. And that's your little line to find it. Not our um, thing, we've pinched that off the groundwork as we used to work for. It's a very, it's a very good method, it's so much better than putting stakes in. What's that? It's got a 760 in it. Mm -hmm. so that's our deep corner there. There's one here. Got one there. Got one there. Got one there. Up or down? That's it. So we need to just cut out underneath the concrete so the concrete sat on our concrete. It's not just put it up to it. Gun this camera back. Yeah, let's get this last one in. It's actually easier than using a bloody rotary.
if he hadn't worked so hard, I wouldn't let him into van in that state. But he's done the crap job, which is getting all this out. All the slop. It's not clay, it's not water, it's in between. See, oh, it's awful. We ended up brushing it around and bucking it out in the end. But it's all out now, it's ready for concrete. So we have got other stuff to do now. But we need to wait for the customer to come back before we can go. So we're having a dinner at half past twelve. <laughs> I thought it was an early dinner, obviously not. We had a long morning waiting for the rain to stop, but anyway, the worst of it's over. It's concrete town now, and that's our believe me, believe it or not, that's two ton. <laughs> that's what you call a very generous two ton of um, recycled MOT and most of it's concrete, so that's great MOT that. And then that's what's left to go in. Poor Alex has sealed that. I'll try and help as best I can, but it'll be Alex getting most of that in. Hopefully I'll be able to nip off to the merchants while he does that and get, get two things done at once. I hate just standing and watching because I can't do anything. So here we go. It's all dirty again, obviously. There's another barrow slot we've took out. And we've took that bit, bit wider, underpin the concrete, undermine the concrete. As you can see, all dry patches of clay now. You've got a tiny bit of residual mush but um, as you brush it you're walking it back in so that is definitely ready for concrete as you can see we're coming deep with the concrete we're going to put a good 700 in just bring it up instead of doing it with a trench block there's about 40 pound in it so there's no point just get it back, get it filled so the concrete as you can see it's going to come over the top of that so it's, it's going to be put it this way it's going to be easy for me and my leg so um, yeah, looking forward to getting this concrete in, and then it's time to relax a little bit there, catch you in a bit. There you have it. Concrete's here. So I'm going to stop filling that up for now. Bloody hell, it doesn't look like I've done much. Bloody hell. So I'll give that a quick end with this then. There's going to be a lot of concrete going in here. Uh, you get to watch. I'll set you up.
20 past 3 it's soon going to be like that here as well anyway 20 past 3 there you go all that digging buried my god them lads don't half graft there's getting them for 6 cube in there so as I said I I'd estimated at 5 that's that's measuring a straight trench that trench is all over the shop so that's completely blown the budget on the concrete but these things happen we can pull it back and it's thrown us out for getting the stuff now so I've not been able to nip off and order stuff and buy stuff so we won't be doing any brickwork tomorrow we think we might be able to go on to another job um, we'll have to see what Jason's up to because we need Jason on that one um, but uh, that's another job just up the road which is another concrete job but it's uh, replacing a slab inside a, a bungalow so it, I suppose that'd be a good one if it's cold or wet because we're working on the inside so um, yeah it's in it just wants to go around our little tamp get it all nice and flat we, we were um, we did put a, a shutter in at that, that point there this point here I was going to drop it of course and then I just said how much will it take for that so they said what, whatever it was a few, four barrels I think so I said oh just stick it in so um, yeah they sorted us out good style and I think um, I think we've got too much bloody hardcore now I think we might end up putting some bloody skip <laughs> or taking it to the job but yeah I think what we're going to have to do is um, definitely going to have to get the jet wash going in the concrete and um, come back to this job so I can organise stuff tomorrow and get it delivered in time because it, it's like two or three days lead time on bricks which obviously we need straight away and we're not in Friday, Saturday, Sunday so we'll just have to um, have a bit of working out and see what we're doing so we'll get, we'll get the jet washer going, get tidied up before it goes dark and uh, see you when we're back here whenever that is. This is what Alex has been up to while I've been tidying up there's our MO2 which we're going to cover up as best we can because we're not back till next week now uh, we're only working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week uh, so um, we need to get this stuff ordered go and do another job for the rest of the week he has put that from there to the what do you reckon about 5 ton? I reckon about 5 now yeah yeah he has grafted this afternoon look at that now we're going to leave all the boards down he's going to be dirty get all the materials and stuff dropped here Obviously the skip's in a stupid position now, but that, that's, I guess that's as, as it is. You can't even see some of the concrete about to chuck in here. No. The, all the big stuff, because like I said, we kept the big stuff over. Because big lumps of concrete are easy to put back into a skip than that slot. It's so frustrating because all this stuff was lovely dry clay on Saturday, wasn't it? And the water's gone right through it. Because it was all open and not compact, the water's went straight through it. Steve said we would have got another probably another bucket full on the, on the wagon if it had been dry. So and that's a ton nearly. Yeah, gutted. So we're gonna give all this a brush and get it as soon as we can and go. Because we're both knackered. Thought we were in for an easy day, we've not much to do today, didn't we? <coughs> you were wrong. Yeah. Even the concrete's right better than over now, weren't they? Easy. Easily. Yeah. They came at like they came early, didn't they, I think. They came at ten to ten to two. Yeah. Lucky for us, they came at 10 to 2. Oh, look, it's going dark now. Yeah. What is it? What's the date today? 28th? 8th. So it's less than a month to the shortest day. I count down to the shortest day, Monday for 27th. Christmas. 27th. Oh, a day longer. But yeah, these uh, this uh, these light, these dark nights are horrible. You just can't get... You just Your afternoon's gone. Right, waffle over. I'm going to get tidied up. I'm going home. Well, that was a roller coaster. I know. 
I don't like those kind of roller coasters. Huh. We. Hmm? I've already done the chats, but you carry on. You can do an outro actually, because the final is finished. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's probably just told to them. We had nowhere near enough concrete to begin with. We thought we were well over budget. We thought we were fixed, but we technically were. Yeah. We paid our amount. And we said, how much can this get us? And we said, well, we can get you an extra half a cube. And it just about got us to the end. So, that saved us a lot of messing around with levels. And it saved us having to get more trench block. So, happy days. Yeah, so, Steve at JDA Pier to the rescue in the morning. And then the concrete companies are rescued in the afternoon. All the wagon drivers today have been absolute troopers, so massive thank you to all you are. That'll be the end of this video. We're jet washing all that, cleaning up. I'm still filling that skip up, so. But all that is, you can see the results of that next video, so thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this roller coaster, be sure to give a thumbs up. Hi, <laughs> If you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell, that way you'll always be notified. It's always a massive help for the channel. Any additional support you want to give, there's the super thanks option just under the video or Dad's PayPal in the description, which isn't necessary by any means, but really appreciate it since Big Man's going to be tipped on soon. We keep, it's going to happen. We keep saying it, it is going to happen. We're not, we're not fobbing you off with that. I mean, it's. It's up in the air because he's down for he's down for next year, but he's also down for a cancellation. So it's one of those. So we're not fobbing you off. We'll uh, we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, vlog, we'll vlog the hip operation so we know we know what we're lying. Yeah. This has been digging and concreting with Steve, Alex, and Jason. Thanks to Jason as well. And the concrete company. The concrete company and Jane Napier. And we'll see you in the next one.